Growing in containers is a great way to expand your growing area, whether you have ground to grow in or not. We are at the point where we can harvest some of the stuff coming off of our containers. We're gonna look first look at this zucchini plant. Now, we planted in this 20 gallon, I would assume about a 20 gallon plastic container, and we mulched it with just ordinary sand that has really held the moisture in and didn't allow the moisture to evaporate out. We still have to water on occasion, but it really reduces the amount of watering that is required. We have two zucchini plants in here. This back one here is small and spiddly, so we are going to cut it out and get rid of it to allow more nutrients and the, allow this one to have a better chance. Nothing wrong with that, it's just, there's, it's just small, and uh, I don't wanna have it take away from the ones actually producing. So what we have here, as you see some of these leaves die back, you can go ahead and cut them off. All right, get a weed here that we have out. So this one here has got a tiny black beauty uh, zucchini on it that we're just gonna ahead and cut off. Now you can harvest zucchini at whatever size you choose to pick them at, but keep in mind the smaller they are, the more tender they become. Once they get to like baseball bat size, you really can only really make relish out of it. And um, it, it's better just have them this way and you can do a lot of things with them. So we'll go ahead and back and water this plant. There's some more flowering that's gonna take place in the center. Uh, as you see leaves here that are not healthy, go ahead and cut them off. It's not gonna hurt the plant, it's actually gonna help the plant because the plant doesn't have to try to heal itself. Now it can just focus on uh, growing fruit. So now let's go up in the pop-up raised bed and look at some of the cranberry hard shell beans that are ready to harvest. So this is our pop-up raised bed that we have up against the house here and these are cranberry uh, hard shell beans. Now <clears throat> we're not really certain, well we have an idea that squirrels possibly have been uh, in, the, in the bed here because we have squirrels living in the tree there. But some of these are ready to harvest, and you'll know when a bean is ready to harvest, whether it's in the container or in the ground, because if, if it's a hard shell bean now, if it's a regular green bean or edible purple bean or a yellow green bean, you wanna harvest them when they're tender and small. These here, you wanna wait until the shell dries and you open them up and look at the fantastic color that these have produced this marbling. Now these are still a little on the moist side, so we'll have to let these dry. But this pink and white marbling of these beans are just uh, really, really uh, neat looking. And now you can harvest these also when the pod is still, when the pod is still um, wet and green, but it's best if you allow it to dry on the vine. Now with this instance, that we know that we have critters that are probably gonna take out the rest of these. We're gonna go ahead and harvest these early and just let them dry on the counter because a smaller dry bean is better than no bean at all. Now these most likely will go to seed stock for next year. So we have more of an abundance of seeds that we can plant a larger patch with. So harvesting in containers, growing in containers is a great way to expand your growing area whether you have ground to grow in or not. For more information, please visit the